It's an update to a story you asked us to investigate. Action News reporter Michael Aparty has a story. Every time the phone rings, Andrew Spivak hopes it's not yet another no. green energy robocall. They're offering energy savings programs that will save you 30 to 50 percent on your electric and other power bills. Sound familiar? 30 to 50 percent off of your power. People across the valley are turning to Action News fed up with the calls. Andrew says he's received them for months and tried to be removed from the list. But then they would call back the next day, sometimes a few hours later, and the next day and the next day and so forth. He even signed up for the Do Not Call registry, but the phone kept ringing. I set out to try to find out who the heck they were. Finally, Andrew answered the robocall and set up an appointment with a technician to stop by. He then invited us to come over to his house in this neighborhood to meet the person who showed up. Hi, how are you today? After waiting outside the home, the technician came I'm out. A party. I'm a reporter with Channel 13 Action News. He identified himself as David, an independent contractor selling energy saving products for Home Tech International, an Arizona company. And we popped the question so many are asking. Where are the green energy robocalls coming from? Uh, the green energy robocalls. Yeah. Uh, can you be a little bit more specific, please? We explain the call. You're here today. Who sent you out here? Uh, it's just all through marketing. So, for example, it's a company that we hire that just telemarkets out. But that still doesn't answer the question. Exactly who was making the calls? We didn't get a clear answer. You got to remember a lot of companies use the very same tactic. So you're going to have a lot that looks the same, but it really depends upon the company. The FTC says that's what makes these cases tricky. Multiple companies or telemarketers can use the same generic recording. And in some cases, the number may be spoofed. That means the number on your caller ID is not the real phone number. So tracking down the source can be difficult. David tells us you can push a button during the call to stop the messages. People we talked to say so they push the button and they still keep okay. getting the okay. calls. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's something I would go ahead and check out. David made a call to his manager while we waited. He told us he would try to find the source of the calls. After he left, David called us back to say we'd have to talk to the corporate office. Home Tech has a current Arizona contractor's license. Just last month, the Better Business Bureau revoked the company's accreditation, in part for failing to promptly respond to all complaints forwarded by the BBB. Mm -hmm. Andrew reviewed the products David showed him but didn't sign a deal. Now he doesn't want energy savings. He just wants answers. This has been going on for months and months and months and was so frustrating. We've reached out to Home Tech several times over the last two days, but have not heard back. Andrew says he's now considering legal action, and the FTC in Washington says they're interested in seeing our story. We've heard from so many of you at home and plan to keep digging to find out who's behind the calls. Michael Loparty, Channel 13, Action News. If you're receiving the calls, let us know about them. Email 13investigates at ktnv.com with your name and your telephone number.